we should appreciate the way yuvraj singh has played in domestic cricket in fact all these days we were we were thinking that you know he's not playing those long innings and all so he played some fantastic innings this season he's got a double hundred he's got a 180 on a lali wicket so he did extremely well in domestic cricket which has been uh, um, uh, uh, appreciated and is given a due chance like you mentioned it's a good choice that we have uh, in in the uh, squad you know with uv coming back into the team and uh, we all know what he's capable of uh, you know both as a batsman and also uh, you know as a bowler he can chip in uh, <clears throat> but you know having said that both manish and kedar in that slot have really done well uh, so you know it's nice to have uh, you know these choices uh, the series dinesh kartik has come in uh, for kl we felt you know kl because he opens mostly where he plays uh, you know we don't want to have a situation like jinx was going through in between you know having uh, to play in the middle order uh, forcefully because of you know uh, what the top order was doing so uh, we thought it's better that you know he gets in game time in the first class level so we got in dinesh who's always played in the middle order who's more comfortable and and uh, you know more um, aware of how to bat in the middle orders I'll have KL uh, Rahul. Unfortunately, Virat he has won so many games uh, for Team India at number three, but you can't ignore the form mm. KL Rahul is in. He's in. He's in prime form, and I think he's an impact player, one more match winner. And then I'll have the skipper. That's, that's an interesting one. In the last one, one and a half years, they've tried a lot of players. They didn't yeah. stick to one particular player and given enough opportunity to judge, like Manish Pandey, Dinesh mm. Karthik, Kedar Jadhav. But I believe with this top four batsmen, there's quality. Yeah. There is class. At the same time, there's also experience so i think this is the top 4 i would okay. like them uh, to be there even for the next year world okay. cup see the only position that we were trying to figure out was number 4 for a long time and we tried many players which unfortunately could not be uh, capitalized or cemented in a way that we would have wanted we were looking at raidu for england but again you know some guidelines that had to be followed because of which he could not make it but he made it to the asia cup and we i mean the team felt there and i also what i watched felt like he's designed to play that middle order batsman role but we believe that raidu is the is the right person to capitalize and because he's experienced and he's won many games for his state in ipl cricket as well and uh, you know he's he's he has a great one day record already for india so um i think the the batting order is sorted as far as we are concerned now definitely you know they've told me that this is the role for me right now and you know they want me to do the best that i can and they're backing me completely and i i think it'll be very unfair on me to you know talk on others behalf but they've told me that this is where i'm going to bat and this is what they expect out of me and i'm trying to achieve i personally always feel that you know uh, he uh, him batting at number 4 will be ideal for the team but uh, we've got raidu who's done really well now uh, at number 4 So uh it totally depends on what you know the captain and coach thinks about it uh, personally asking yes i would be happy if he bats at 4 not really we have not disc- i mean he batted number 4 in 2016 uh, for a while if i'm not wrong um but after that i think he's been pretty happy playing at 5 and 6 for the team i personally feel number 5 is the best suited spot for him i think india have finally uh with this selection on non selection of kartik they have said to everyone that we look at kartik as a t20 batsman and his okay. 50 overs future is over as far as we are concerned um, vijay shankar's performance uh, um, in the recent series uh, has really changed a bit of a dynamics and uh, you know he brings in that uh, uh, you know that double impact to the side which uh, is good enough so that's why we include him and we'll see how we performs in the next few matches here. Vijay has great gained in confidence. He's batted brilliantly at uh, any given position that has been given to him. He batted number 4, now he's batted number 6, number 7 and uh, he's done exceptionally well. Uh 
uh, and as Ricky said, if you put Rishabh up at number four, he will score runs for you because he's just so talented. He's got so much time to play fast bowling that you can't see Rishabh Pant failing at the top level. I think uh, Raidu is on thin ice at this uh, yeah. at this point. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, he'll retain his spot. I think that's the spot if Vijay Shankar does bat at four, they can then get Chahal uh, back uh, in that uh, in that lineup. Well, after the Champions Trophy, we have tried quite a few. A middle order batsman, which also includes Dinesh Karthik at that order, and we also tried Shreya Sahir and Manish Pandey. We did give a few more chances uh, to uh, Raidu, um, but uh, what Vijay Shankar offers is three dimensions. Apart from his uh, batting, he can bowl. If the conditions are suitable, I mean, if the conditions are overcast, which we, which we might encounter in England, he might bowl a bit. And he's a fantastic fielder. That's that's the, that's the thing that went in favor of uh, Vijay